What's the opportunity for a healthier gut when you eat fruit alone? That was very interesting to me. I, I, I do feel better if I just eat a, like a whole thing of mango and water and it's just like a well, snack well, in the middle of the day and it's if alone. You're, if you're eating it on an empty stomach, it's only going to be in the stomach for so long. Uh -huh. when, when you're eating heavier food, you're, you've got more time for that stuff to be in your gut. But if you're on an empty stomach, a, 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 a subacid fruit and apples only going to be in there or grapes are only going to be in there for about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Boom. They're moving on out of the gut into the intestines or wherever else they go. But you're talking about food that's actually got some hours to hang out in your stomach. Mm -hmm. And then you pile fruit on top of that. Well, what it's going to do is rot it. That's what it's going to do. Because the fruit can't leave the it. stomach. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can't go anywhere. Right. It's now all combined. That's it's all together. It's really too bad that we got a guest that really wasn't very passionate about anything. Yeah, I know she's, <laughs> she's boring and dry and tired and you just, I want to sleep right now. I know. That actually makes sense to me. And, and tell me about the, the second book that you mentioned. What was in there that, <gasps> uh, was that a juicing book? The I Mucusless Diet Healing System by Professor Arnold Eret. This guy was so before his time. B Professor Arnold Eret says, I don't care what disease name you give it. It's an overload of inflammation, oh. period. So he talks about eating mucus less like that. You know what I'm saying? What is that? Not what so, does that mean? Not what so is... much. Say, for instance, all you eat, you get up in the morning and you have pancakes made with uh, um, what that regular flour, mm -hmm. uh, that, that glutinous yeah. oh. flour, that's going to cause you a lot of inflammation. And then you have a big burger uh, 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 for lunch with bread and cheese and mayo and all this kind of stuff, you're creating more and more inflammation. So you have to take a look at all of that processed crap that you get a hold to, all of those foods that create a lot of inflammation and what happens with us. We wind up getting us cold after a while. Your, your, your mucus coming out of every darn where because it, it's time now to cleanse. You're overloaded with inflammation, mucus, however you want to say it. And I, that's why I do usually a juice cleanse three times a year, pretty much three times a year. I got to clean it out. I have to abstain from eating and just get my cayenne pepper, even if I just master cleanse. But most of the times it's a juice cleanse. I have to abstain from eating after a while because we all get mucus stuff. I don't even know how we, I really don't know how we avoid it unless you're a fruitarian or um, all you eat is live food constantly. Right. So. I remember when we were with you uh, filming the, the video to Howard Schultz to tell him to get his SHIT Act together. together. Get it together. Yeah, yeah you said folks, that much go, more go lovely that. than I do. I just, I, I want to just, yeah, I want to interject. Sorry, Dottie, but okay. yeah, you all should go look at that. It's, you'll find it at, on the switchforgood.org website, yeah. but if you just Google Babette, Chef Babette, it will come up um, very quickly or just Chef Babette Starbucks. It'll come up right. Yeah. And you will see her telling Mr. Schultz some of her mind. That's why I was checking him. Yes. Yeah, it was fabulous. But you had the same energy, if not more that you had today and you were on a juice cleanse. I remember talking about it. And then Jason and I rudely ate all that food in front of you. And <laughs> <laughs> it was so good though. It was so fun to visit your restaurant. So tell me, I, I haven't done a juice fast. And I oftentimes hear kind of oh, after the first 24 hours or something, you get this extraordinary burst of energy. But obviously you're not taking that many calories in. So that kind of kills that the calories alone give you energy like that kills that theory what is it what, what are the what are the mechanisms of a juice cleanse that that brings up so much vibrant energy for people well first of all you're not you're not spent waste time, i mean spending any time digesting crap I, most mm -hmm. of the time there is no digestion going on digestion takes a lot of energy in particular if you're eating really really heavy 
uh, heavy mm. type foods. So that's why uh, you're tired after eating big food. It's basically you always, just because all the blood the is going to your you're like, stomach. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So okay. when you're abstaining from food, the, the challenge, however, is that you're getting enough fluid because now, you know, we cannot eat for days, but we, we do have to, we have to have enough fluid, Hydration, we have to get enough sure. water, we have to hydrate ourselves. And water is massively important because I don't know, we, we, on this planet, we, we drink everything else and the human body needs H2O. So <sighs> with my cleanse, I force myself to drink more water, but the cleanse that I love the most because I'm getting a lot of nutrients when I do the green juice cleanse, you don't have to work. I'm getting more nutrients than I'd be if I was eating every day cooked food because heat is killing, killing the nutrition in the food any dang way. But if I'm juice cleansing, I'm good to go on nutrients. However, if I decide I'm going to do the master cleanse, I'm really, really, really trying to get rid of a whole bunch of inflammation. Mm -hmm. That's cayenne pepper. Uh, it, it was it it normally is maple syrup cayenne pepper and i like to put a little ginger in mine because i'm hooked on ginger and um i drink that thing for at least 15 days and along with the water um and i do a um you know i get i eliminate real good they have a little recipe on there on how you should eliminate and it works it's a, a soft salt water enema and, and it works. If nobody, if you're not hip to the master cleanse, Google it. They have the recipe, the whole nine yards for you. That's the best one. 